I I'll be speaking on above earth. Above earth. Now the Garden of Eden is above earth. That was why it cannot be found on earth. I heard that you know some people were trying to locate the Garden of Eden on earth, and they discovered they could not find it. Of course, the Garden of Eden is above earth, so you can't find it on earth. Now, while in the garden, they were primarily uh, living as souls. No, they were primarily souls, not just body now. So the Bible says that the souls that sins shall die. The death here is a relocation from that higher realm to a lower one called earth. So when I say the soul that sinners shall die, that death is a relocation from a higher position to a lower position because the Garden of Eden is above earth. So if you sin in a direction that is above earth, you will be relocated to a lower dimension, a lower location which is earth. So that your new relocation, because you are moving from high to low, is called death. Are you there? So the soul is like the spiritual part, the mind. Are you get what I'm saying? The spirit. Now, okay, now let's use spirit to be more um, clear now. Souls don't die physical death. Are you there? The food of the soul is knowledge. And they don't marry. That's what happened. that's the same thing as spirits now. The food of your spirit is knowledge. So spirits don't marry because can I say that? There's spirits don't marry. For a spirit to marry, it means that spirit has taken the form of flesh. And the spirit is now in form of a man. Uh-huh. Now, why did God make Eve for Adam? He did that because he had seen the fall ahead of Adam. So, Adam and Eve in the garden were not, they were not flesh and blood. They were not flesh and blood as it were. They were not body. The prominent part of them was not body. It was spirit. So, the arrangement is not uh, spirit, soul. You know, now we have spirit, soul, and body, and our body is the outer part. But in the garden of Eden, the body is the inner part. It's like we have we have spirit, soul, body. So the same way we, we have body as our outer part now. In the Garden of Eden, the outer part was spirit. Are you there? And spirits don't marry. So when God brought Eve to Adam, God was actually doing that because he knew that Adam would fall. So he was preparing for the fall. You discover that Adam and Eve did not have sex in the Garden of Eden. They were just living like friends. Because they don't know what it means to even have sex. They are spirits. The prominent part of them was spirits. So, <laughs> the spirits don't marry. They don't have sex. Are you getting? So, God making a if for Adam was God's preparation for Adam's fall. God knew Adam would fall. So, he was preparing if for him. So that when they step to that lower dimension, you know, this urge for sex will come. So, if we have somebody he can do it with. Do you understand? So, the idea of marriage was God's way of preparing Adam for hurt. Because there, he will need marriage. That was why they did not have sex in the garden. Because spirits don't do all those things. In the garden, the outer part of man was the spirit. Like I said, so we have have spirit as the outer part. Are you there? Now, um when they fell, this arrangement changes. You know, in the garden, the outer part was spirit. That's why they needed knowledge. So they have to eat from different trees to get knowledge of God because whatever gains prominence, prominence is what you feed. So because their spirit is the one that gains prominence, they have to feed more on knowledge to survive because the food of spirit is knowledge. So but when they fell, the effect of their fall brought body. 
So body came out as the outer part and spirit entered, went inside. That is why now we have to eat this, eat that to maintain the body structure. And there are people who have even pay more attention to eating than building knowledge because their spirit is inside and their body is outside. So they are more concerned about the outer. They have left the inner. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, the outer part is likely to gain more attention. And this is why many give too many attention to their body, ignoring, you know, the other part of, of their humanity. Adam was a body. You know, Adam was, you know, Adam was created as a man, but yet in his mind he was a child. So he needed to eat from the trees in the garden to have knowledge of God. So they created Adam was physically big, but in his mind he was very small. That is why God subjected him to eating from the tree, meaning learning from the tree, acquiring knowledge from the tree. I hope you understand. 